Just for clarification, if you hear something off to that side, that is my fan. I've been wanting to make this video, I just didn't know how it was going to. And this is actually my second take, and not my first. I've been collecting wax with vinyl records for some time now. And I've got a good chunk, I would say, maybe like 20, 25. You guys can count this if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. So I thought I would make this video basically showing what's in my collection. Why I have it in my collection and go from there. So the first one I am going to show you is actually the second one I ever purchased. And that is the final for Trick or Treat. One of the cool things about the, this one is of course, it looks like this. Pumpkins right here. Pumpkins all around the side. And then you've got Sam right in the middle. I don't think I need to clarify why I purchased Trick or Treat. Because everybody knows the film. There's only a few people out there that really didn't like the film. Of course, I don't know. Next up, Krampus. Krampus was a film that Originally, I did not like. Um, I thought it was too... I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I do, let's just say I wasn't in the right mode. And it comes out like with a gatefold like this in the back. I wasn't really... It took me a couple of times for me to actually like Krampus like I do now. But... It's honestly a really good film. I just, I don't know. This took me more than a couple of tries to actually get the film. The next one is probably one of my favorite slashers of all time. Uh, the other one is My Bloody Valentine. And I have My Bloody Valentine, I just don't know where it's at right now. But, it is the problem. Paula is known for coming after Fridays after teeth, but it's one that I actually prefer over Fridays of teeth. And there is the inside. With Tom's Tom with the kills and a script that I like better, I just found it more of a pleasing film than anything else. The next one is one that's actually kind of cool. That is Manhunter, based off the Thomas Harris novel Red Dragon. Here is the inside. Now one of the cool things about this is that do you see the film, or read the book, when he kills people, he breaks he breaks mirrors and then he places them above the eyes. There is a reason for that. But but sleeve is actually mirrored. And you keep watch right here now it's now it's not there. If I was to push in the vinyl, as you can see there, it mimics what he does in the film. By placing glass here, here, and then out. Manhunter is a film that I prefer over Red Dragon. Uh, the book itself is really, really fantastic. It's probably my favorite. Um, it's a tie between Hannibal Rising and then Red Dragon. But it's one of his better novels. And I love it for that fact. Next up, we have a Netflix original film. When this was going to be done, I guess you could say, made, I was kind of sketchy. I really wanted to like it. And I actually ended up loving it. And that is The Hunting of Hill House. And inside has them in the car. If you've seen the film, you know that image. And it has the back. Okay, and then next up we have one that from the first you won't 
Merchant. But it is none other than the film Raw. Raw had a fantastic soundtrack. And I had to pick it up. It deals with cannibalism. I know not everybody's forte. But I thought it was very well done. And who did this? Jim Williams is the composer of this one. And instead of this one and this two, it says this one and this two. Which is kind of interesting. But it's a cannibalism film that if you have a strong stomach, you can really get it. The next one, everybody should know this film by now. If you have not seen it, I don't know where you're going to. It's Beetlejuice. I mean, if you don't get Beetlejuice or you have not seen Beetlejuice, that makes me sad. One thing I like about this is, if you see the front, the front actually spans all the way into the back. So it's one full image. Then on the inside, you got the iconic scene. Danny Elfman is another one of my favorite composers. But at the same time, I think he... He's in the back on a lot of Tim Burton films, and while his score usually is always fantastic, Tim Burton is not always fantastic. Actually, he's one of my more hated directors. It's funny how that works out, but there's that. The next one is a black and white film that I actually saw on Netflix, The Eyes of My Mother. I always get that mixed up. And then, got this fantastic image on the inside. Now the eyes of my mother is black and white, can be graphic, hard to describe, but it's a fantastic release and one of the reasons I love this is that I actually put on this one. The marble factor on this is fantastic. that one back in here very carefully. One thing I find interesting about Waxworth is some of the hardest to get the disc back into and that's why I'm not taking out many of my discs. Next one, Exorcist. I don't know how you would say this is made. It's not glossy, it has a textured feel to it in the background. And everybody knows Exorcist by now. It's world famous. The Exorcist, directed by William Friedkin. Music excerpts from William Peter Blatty's Black Dice. Is that one? But, um, next one is Jack Black, Goosebumps. Like I said, I like Danny Elfman. And, of course, I had to pick this one up. I've been a big Goosebumps fan ever since I was a child. I have tons of Goosebumps books. And those stories, those scary stories are coming true. Now, I am going to open this, but I am not going to look at it. Because I have a fear of yard bones, And they are on the inside. So, hopefully, you can see the anyway. Because I'm not looking at it. But... Yeah, it's one of my irrational fears, is that. Next we have a Dali Argento Inferno. Inferno is a film by Argento, original soundtrack by Keith Emerson. Then you have back. And then we'll just cut it in. And then this one, I am going to say, Amy, if you are watching this, you're gonna want to skip ahead. I would say about 
two minutes. What about now? Because what I'm going to show now is going to have a clown. I know you have fears of clowns, so I'm warning you now. Um, this is the one that would start me with Waxworth, and from then it was a downhill. That was Stephen King's It. One of my favorites, and it actually has terrific artwork going all around with like 3D effects. I am a big fan of Stephen King's book. I'm a big fan of the 1990s version. I also have the It soundtrack, the, the recent one with Bill. I have that one. So yeah, I'm a fan. Next up is one I never thought I would ever get to own because I never thought that they were going to be able to fix and compose all the original elements to Night of the Working Dead. But Waxworth, they actually did it and I was surprised that they were going to release it. It's got a gorgeous gatefold here that with a marching oops farmhouse and they're going to be everything. What a tidbit is in Night of the Living Dead they never mentioned eating brains. It was actually in Return of the Living Dead that the brain phenomena actually got basically done. Next up is 1990s film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been a Turtles fan with Mikey as my favorite for a while now. And look at that. You can't tell me that it's not gorgeous. Everything Fraction does is beyond gorgeous. But yeah, there you go. And I absolutely love that cover. Next up, Phenomena Argento again. And this one has full gloss over, as you can tell, because it's hitting my light over there. But, I, if it's Argento, I most likely pick it up. Because Argento is one of my favorite directors. Deep Red, I am not going to try to say the original name. But, I hope it's such Just like that. And you have that, and then you have that. But gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Did I say gorgeous? Next, it's the last one. Ned Red. And this one's kind of interesting because if you pull this out, like here, it's actually an inside. And then it's got this. Now, that is the Waxworth that I own. Um, I hope that you like this. I did my best to showcase without taking out every disc. If you like this, please leave a comment. Uh, got a favorite? Tell me below. And I hope that I will not fall behind making more videos like I seem to do. And I hope that you subscribe. And I will see you next time.